you sleep and you wake up and find out that someone has already slept with you. Other times you can see that you are actually making love with this person. And this is very frustrating for you. You know what? Agnes, let me tell you this thing. Amaka, relax. John, don't think as if you are the only one that is passing through this. Victor, let me tell you something. They come up and they tell you that they call it succubus and incubus. You know, they call it the incubus is the male and the succubus is the female. It's a lie, yo. that is just a name. There is never a place that spirits come out to say, we are the men that sleep with you guys when you sleep in the night and you call us incubus. And we are the female that sleep with you in the night, you call us succubus. Spiritually, there is no gender. So that pastor that is telling you, that Catholic pastor, that uh, Pentecostal pastor that is telling you, you are being attacked by the spirit of succubus and incubus. Spiritually, there are no words. Gender. Amaka, let me tell you this. You may not even understand what I'm trying to say. But Agnes, put this into consideration. Chioma, have you asked yourself that when you go back to bed and you are having that same sex, today you are having sex with a man and tomorrow you are having sex with a woman and you are surprised. You are trying to tell your pastor, your spiritualist, last night I dealt with something I don't even understand. I saw myself making love to a woman and the other day I was having sex with a man. That is the same person you are making love to. That is the same spirit. There is no man somewhere coming to make love to you that is a spirit or a woman somewhere coming to make love to you that is a spirit. It is the same one spirit because spiritually there are no genders. So they can come in form of a man or as a woman. Now let me tell you something you don't understand. Do you know why they come to make love to you in the night? Even as a virgin, <laughs> they still do that to you. Yes, the Bible and pastors makes us understand that our body is the temple of the Lord. How come our body is the temple of the Lord? We cannot have sex around, but the devil will come and have sex with us in the dream. Or the spirit will come and have sex with us in the dream. Do you know why? The devil has a way, the demons. Let me use the word demons. Let me, let me not talk about the angels of God or the good spirits. The best way they understand the power of sex that through sex you can have access into the destiny and the future of people. If I told you there's anything like destiny, but I know that through sex, the demons can have access into your life. That which you are trying to plan, that contract you are trying to write, that plan you have in place, and they will come to scatter it. And that is why after having sex in the dream, everything you do, scatter. Everything you put your hand, scatter. That man that said he wants to marry you, don't want to marry you again. That man that said come for a job, he said I don't want to give you a job again. Because you've had sex with the spirit in the dream. <laughs> that may come as a man, at the same time as a woman. Because I've already told you that they are neither men or women. Because spiritually, there are no gender. Now let me tell you something. Do you know that if through sex you are being contaminated, also through sex you can also be liberated? <laughs> I've never seen in the Old Testament where they say sex was a sin, but you know what? The white man has given everything that is supposed to add value to our life, both physically and spiritually. They are giving it a name. For example, they call it fornication. Other people, they call it adultery. Wait, don't be in a hurry. I'm not telling you to start sleeping around or leaving your home to go and sleep with another man or another woman in the name of adultery. But listen to me. Spiritually, there is a force that is behind sex and also biologically we know that sex is the only thing exercise you can what embark on that releases a type of enzymes a hormone in your brain called the feel good hormone and how do you feel when you feel good you have the zeal and the power and the enablement to carry on your task pursue life and make impact from life but when they tell you that don't have sex and sex is the only thing that gives you what that feel good hormone how are you ever going to what make it in life how are you ever going to what pursue your dream and do that which you are doing so the devil first aim is to kill whatever thing that makes you happy because they know peace and happiness and feel good are the only two to your breakthrough and that's why the bible said he said the lord make it rich and add no soul. So is what brings about what? Depression. And so if sex is supposed to make us feel good, why is it that when we finish having sex, we start feeling guilty? Because they've already programmed it in our mind right from our forefathers, the plan of the devil, that sex is bad. Sex is bad, yet the spirit is coming in the night to make love to you. Don't you think something is wrong? Or don't you think there is something about sex that they've not told you? Sex is not as bad as the churches and every other religion have preached it. Sex is the only connection, the fastest connection the fastest link to the spiritual. Use it wisely.